Well, I don't know if you heard, but the World Happiness Report came out today. And again, uh, Finland is in number one spot, Denmark is second, Iceland is third, Sweden fourth, and then Israel number five. So get this, Israel, which is engaged in a genocidal war uh, on Gaza, already killing almost 40, 40, uh, 35,000 Palestinians, 70% of them uh, women and children, uh, also destroying uh, much of the hospital infrastructure, the schools, uh, and then the settlers who are ransacking the West Bank, attacking villages, towns, and uh, literally pillaging the West Bank, is the fifth happiest place on earth. How about the United States? It actually sits <clears throat> on the 23rd spot. So here the United States, uh, with all what it offers and all the people, is not a happy place. But a Israel, who engaging in an open genocidal war, uh, constant colonization and persistent colonization and dispossession of the Palestinians, is the fifth happiest place uh, in this report. Maybe we could ask, uh, could it be that you could share some of this happiness with the Palestinians that you have dispossessed, taken, taken their land, uh, sitting and living in their homes and villages, that you have uh, almost 8,500 of them held hostages, the closure, total closure of the Gaza Strip for the past 17 years and now ongoing assault. Maybe you could develop you know, a new drink. Uh, the drink of happiness. Israel provide you the drink of happiness and we will offer it for the Palestinians for free because we, since the Nakba, we have taken every ounce of happiness and sniffed it out of their own society. We took their homes, we took their land, uh, uh, we ethnically cleansed 750,000 Palestinians, demolished uh, 541 villages, and maybe, maybe that will impact their happiness. Maybe also that we expelled a whole bunch of other people in 1967. Maybe that also that we have constantly almost uh, uh, continued our belligerency, an attack on Lebanon, an attack on the Palestinians who were in Lebanon, the attack that uh, if we speak about the Gaza Strip, uh, almost uh, constant attacks uh, since 2005-2006 to the extent that uh, Gaza uh, literally has uh, uh, kids that were born and never experienced other than uh, marking their days by the numbers of assaults and attacks that Israel have conducted against them. So the World Happiness Report is upon us. And number five in the fifth spot is Israel, while it's engaging in a genocide on the Gaza Strip as we speak, uh, with an open-ended assault on the Palestinians in the West Bank. And uh, we are sitting in here and literally scratching our head. How is that possible in the mix of this? Maybe I could contemplate that maybe the research was done uh, in a small uh, secured area, uh, not in the Gaza Strip, but secured area around Tel Aviv or other places where people actually completely uh, have no... Uh, connections or links uh, to what is uh, taking place. So on number f on the sp number fifth spot of the World Happiness Report is Israel, uh, something that is just completely mind-boggling in the mix of an unfolding genocide on the Gaza Strip. So genocide and happiness.